Karen Jeffrey Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss deadlocks. Now guys, those who study operating system or those who study concurrent programming, okay, so very often they come across this term called as deadlock. Now today in this video we are going to discuss it what is a deadlock and what are the necessary conditions for a deadlock to happen okay and then in the next video we are going to discuss how we can get rid of deadlocks okay so first things first so what is a deadlock so guys deadlocks is a condition okay when one process is having some resources and waiting for some other process to release some resources so that the first process can finish its processing okay and at the same time the second process is also waiting for some resources okay which are assigned to some other process and again the third process is also waiting for some resources which are assigned to the first process okay so all of them are waiting for each other to release some resources so that they can finish their processing okay now in this condition all are waiting and no one is making any progress now this condition is called as deadlock so guys this is the definition okay now whenever we talk about the deadlocks definition always it is one waiting for another another waiting for another it is kind of confusing so now pay attention what is a deadlock we will take it with the we will discuss it with the example so as i told you deadlock is a condition when we have more than one process if there are only one process then no deadlock okay so suppose we have three processes p1 p2 and p3 now suppose process p1 it needs two resources to complete its execution r1 and r2 and the process p2 it also needs two resources that is r2 and r3 now and we have process p3 it also needs two resources that we can say r3 and r one okay so they we have three processes no resource r1 is already assigned to p1 okay and resource r2 is already assigned to p2 and the resource r3 is already assigned to p3 now p1 is having r1 and it is waiting for p2 to release the resource r2 okay and p2 already has a resource r3 and it is waiting for p3 to release the resource r3 now p3 already has r3 and it is waiting for the p1 to release the resource r1 okay now what is happening p1 has something but it is waiting for the something which p2 has and p to already has something it is waiting for p3 a which is waiting for p3 to release that thing and p3 already has something and it is waiting for the p2 p1 to give him the additional resources which it requires for example p1 has r2 it is waiting for p1 has r1 it is waiting for r2 p2 has r2 it is waiting for r3 p3 has r3 and it is waiting for r1 so all are waiting for each other now in this condition what happens they all keep on waiting 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 and none of the process can make any progress now this condition is called as a deadlock this condition is called as a deadlock so guys now we will discuss the four necessary conditions okay which must be there in order to have a deadlock so whenever there is a deadlock so there are these necessary conditions which are present okay the first condition is called as mutual exclusion now what is mutual exclusion mutual exclusion means at a time one resource is allocated only to one process at a time one resource is allocated only to one 
process okay this resource cannot be shared this resource cannot be shared for example r1 is allocated to p1 so at that time r1 will be allocated to p1 no other process can share it okay at a time one resource only dedicated for one process so we call it as mutual exclusion we call it as mutual exclusion when the resources which are allocated to the processes okay and those resources cannot be shared by some other processes we call it as mutual exclusion okay the other condition which is required for a deadlock is no preemption what is no preemption no process p1 has a resource r1 and it is waiting for r2 now while it is waiting for r2 it can release the resource r1 but it is not releasing it but it is not releasing it if it releases okay then r2 r1 can be used by p3 and the deadlock will break okay but what is no preemption it means one process is having one resource is waiting for some other resource while it is waiting it is not releasing the present resources it is not preempting itself from the present allocated resources now third condition is called as hold and wait what is hold and wait now p1 is holding r1 and it is waiting for r2 p2 is holding r2 and it is waiting for r3 so p3 is holding r3 and it is waiting for r1 so all are holding one resource and they are waiting for some other resource none of them is releasing their resources okay so this is condition is called as hold and wait okay then comes circular wait circular wait is nothing but another extension of hold and wait so processes are holding resources and they are waiting for some other resources and the wait is in form of a circle and the wait is in form of a circle we call it as a circular wait for example boys and girls again boys and girls no problem for example guys there is this is also called as a resource allocation graph i didn't follow the proper notation this is also like which resource has been allocated to which process and which resource that process is waiting for if there is a cycle if there is a cycle in a resource allocation graph then that condition is called as a circular wait here they are waiting for the resources in a circular fashion so we call that condition as hold and wait so guys for a deadlock to happen all these four conditions must exist then only there will be a deadlock okay again we will do it quickly mutual exclusion means the resources are non shareable one process is having one resource and it is not sharing it with some other process then we have no preemption one process is having some resource it is waiting for some other resources but it is not releasing the resources which it has presently because if it releases it so then some other waiting process can finish the execution it will break the circuit it will break this cycle and the deadlock will be broken so then comes hold and wait as i told you, you no know, this is the typical nature of the processes and it is typical nature of the humans also we hold two things okay we do not want to give up same is happening with the <laughs> processes so it is holding one resource and it is waiting for some other resource right all are acting like that now what is a circular weight again it is like a hold and weight but the weight is in form of a cycle weight is in form of a cycle we call it as circular weight and all these four conditions they cause a deadlock so guys i hope this thing makes it clear so if you like our video please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification okay and please leave your feedback in the comment sections i'll be happy to answer all your queries till then stay tuned